dividing a quantity in the given ratio. In this module, you will learn about dividing a quantity in the given ratio. Kapil and Pooja want to share a pizza in the ratio 3 is to 5. Here, 3 is to 5 is in the lowest form as there is no common divisor. We can also say if Kapil gets 3 parts of pizza and Pooja gets 5 parts, then the ratio in which Kapil and Pooja get it will be 3 is to 5. Therefore, to distribute it in the ratio 3 is to 5, we need a total of 8 parts. To distribute the pizza, we will divide it into 8 equal parts. Give 3 parts to Kapil and 5 parts to Pooja. We can say Kapil gets 3 eighths of 3 by 8 and Pooja gets 5 eighths of 5 by 8 of the pizza. Here, the total number of parts is equal to 8 and 3 and 5 are the number of parts that Kapil and Pooja have got respectively. This implies that 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. The ratio of Kapil's share to the whole pizza is 3 is to 8. And that of Pooja's share to the whole pizza is 5 is to 8. After finishing their pizza, they ordered a 600 ml bottle of juice. Pooja decided that she had enough pizza. That's why she'll take less quantity of juice. Kapil divided the juice in the ratio 2 is to 1 between Kapil and Pooja. Can you calculate how much each will get? The juice is divided between Kapil and Pooja in the ratio 2 is to 1. In the ratio 2 is to 1, the first term is for Kapil and the second term for Pooja. The quantity of juice Kapil gets is equal to first term divided by sum of both the terms multiplied by the whole quantity of juice. That is, 2 upon the sum of both the terms, that is, 3 into the quantity of whole juice, that is, 600 ml, equal to 400 ml. Similarly, the amount of juice Pooja gets is equal to the second term, divided by the sum of both the terms, multiplied by the whole quantity of juice, which is equal to 1 upon 3 into 600 ml, that is, 200 ml. As 400 ml of juice is taken by Kapil, therefore, the quantity of juice left is 600 ml minus 400 ml, which is equal to 200 ml, which is again equal to the quantity of juice Pooja gets. So, to divide a quantity in a given ratio, find the amount of quantity for any term and subtract from the total amount of quantity to get the other. Have you noticed? The quantity of juice Kapil gets is 2 times the quantity of juice Pooja gets. The given ratio is 2 is to 1 or Kapil gets the juice 2 times that Pooja gets. This can be used to verify your answer. Let's recap. To divide any quantity A in the ratio X is to Y, we find share of X is equal to X divided by sum of X and Y and multiplied by the quantity A. Share of Y is equal to Y divided by sum of X and Y and multiplied by the quantity A. And to divide the quantity A in the ratio X is to Y is to Z. Share of X is equal to X divided by sum of X, Y and Z and multiplied by the quantity A. Share of Y is equal to Y divided by sum of X, Y and Z and multiplied by the quantity A. Share of Z is equal to Z divided by sum of X, Y and Z and multiplied by the quantity A.